Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about waiting transfers in HP protocol. So, first let us start with transfer type during wait states. So when the slave is requesting wait states, the master should not change the transfer type except as described in. So let's say here we have a master and we have a slave here and the slave gives response with the signal we know that slave responds to the master slave give responses to the master with the help of the signal h ready so if h ready is high that is equal to 1 then the slave is ready for any type of transfer the, uh, if h ready is 1 then the slave is ready for the transfer and when h ready is equal to 0 then the slave is not ready for the transfer that is the slave is not ready for the transfer and uh, if a master sends any transfer also it will not accept or the slave cannot send any data to the master so hd signal is zero the slave is not ready for any type of transfer and when hd is equal to one then the slave is ready for the transfer that that is when hd is equal to zero the slave is requesting wait states so the master inserts wait states when hd is equal to zero so when hd is equal to zero that is slave is busy then master inserts wait states so that the transfer can be paused for some duration of time so with the help of this hd the slave is requesting when the slave is requesting wait states the master must not change the transfer types so when the slave is requesting wait states so the when the slave is requ requesting wait states then the master should not change the transfer type we know the transfer type can be ideal transfers we have already seen about the transfer types in uh, our previous videos that is the transfer type can be ideal transfer or it can be a busy transfer or it can be a sequential transfer or it can be a non sequential transfer like that we have different transfer types so when when the slave is asking for wait state then this master should not change the transfer type except in these three conditions when it is ideal transfer and when it is busy transfer with fixed length burst and when it is busy transfer with undefined length burst so we will see these three different scenarios in the upcoming video so this is the agenda for today's video that is when the slave is requesting wait states the master should not change the transfer type except in described conditions so this is the transfer type during the wait states so let's consider this example weighted transfer ideal to non-sequential so in case of when the transfer type is so weighted transfer ideal to non-sequential so when when it is a weighted transfer uh, that is the slave is asking for a weighted transfer that is slave is not ready for any transfer then the master includes weight states in between the transfer here we can see H ready is low here, so a wait states will be included in the transfer. That is, slave is asking for wait wait states. So, and when the transfer type is, and when the transfer type, when the transfer type is ideal, this is the first case we are seeing. So, when the transfer type is ideal, and when the slave is asking for wait states, then the master can change the transfer type from ideal to non-sequential even in the wait states. So this is the first condition that even during the wait states, the master can change the transfer type from ideal to non-sequential. The master is allowed to change the wait states from ideal to non-sequential even in the wait states. Here we can see in the clock cycle T1 to T2, we can see the slave is inserting HDD to low, that is slave is not ready for the uh, transfer and the transfer type is ideal. We can see it is in ideal. In T2 to T3, it is also ideal. But in T3 to T6, it is changing from ideal to non-sequential even HDD is low. And if the transfer type is changed to non-sequential, it is not allowed to change the transfer type to any other transfer type when H ready is low. So the master is not so the master is not allowed to change the transfer type. Master is not allowed to change the 
transfer type during wait states during wait states that is when h ready is equal to low that is when h ready is equal to low the master is not allowed to change the transfer type but in the in this case but there is an exception here in when the transfer type is idle the master is allowed to change the transfer type from idle to non sequential only this is allowed when the transfer when it is in wait state when when there is a wait state the master is allowed to change the transfer type from ideal to non sequential only this change of transfer is allowed and when h ready is equal to 0 the master is not allowed to change the no, uh, this transfer type from non sequential to it cannot change it to another transfer type and the master should keep this transfer type constant throughout the wait state. So here in this example, we can see when h ready is equal to low, we, we can see the change of transfer type from ideal to non sequential and this transfer type is kept constant throughout this h ready is equal to low throughout this thing. And when h ready is equal to high, then we can see a change of transfer type from non, -sequen to non sequential to sequential until h ready is equal to high. There is the master is not allowed to change the transfer type except in the case of ideal transfer. So this is what the protocol says during the wait states, the master is not allowed to change the transfer type except in the case of ideal that is it can change the transfer type from ideal to non sequential.